Shut up and sit down. Hello again, gang. Colin here, Festa 67's workshop. And welcome to part 6 of the Valentino Rossi build pack 11. So we've got all of the parts for stage 40, the air reservoir laid out on the bench. So we've got the cradle, tank halves, valve, valve body, the coupling, the straps, plugs and some support halves. So we're just going to press fit these together. So we'll uh, get the valve body and the tank halves together like so and they are just locate on the pegs and a click in place. So we'll do that just like so come round and make sure that everything is pressed tightly together and that it's not going to come apart now there is a seam along here but what I'm hoping is once it goes in the cradle and the straps are in that yeah it should hide it so we'll see if it doesn't then we'll go back at it and uh, when we come back at the bike to do the detailing we can always get rid of it then so these little straps just locate on a little peg now some of these the mouldings aren't particularly great on the lugs so you might just need to nip at them a little bit with the nips just to put an angle on them to to help them sit in place and they are literally just fitted in place and then when the cradle uh, goes on the straps look as if they've uh, strapped around the cradle basically so we'll get the second one of them in place like so and then strap number three and just rest that in actually that's one of the ones that's got the little uh, bit of uh, a nub on the end there so we'll just cut that at a 45 degree angle and then it will just pop straight in now if they do end up a bit loose like mine you can always go back at them with a little bit of extra fin tiny little blob of glue in place and then that should hold the straps in So we'll just give the other one of those a little nip, I think, just to help it locate a little bit better. Because it seems to want to pop that one out. Like so. And that is the three straps on. So yeah. Hoo -hoo -hoo. Have you some of that? So we'll put the next little bit in, which is a coupling that goes on the end of the valve body there. Like so. And then we can put the cradle together. Now, there's a couple of bits and bobs that go on the cradle that the tank sits in. So it actually sits in the major part here and it locates in with two of the pegs and just a matter of orientating this around so that the tank fits in place and it is a firm press fit in place on this because this goes up inside the frame so give it a bit of welly to get it in place and again if you need a blob of glue put a little blob of glue on there it's not going to hurt. So we'll just put those bits together. There's a little cap that goes in there, a little tiny plug. And it just pops in. And it's a resistance fit on mine. But again, if it's loose in any way, put a little blob of glue on. It's not going to hurt. 
any glue extra thin bit of super glue anything like that will do the trick and we're just literally orientating this around now so that we can put the support in place now if like me you've forgotten to put the two halves of this support together you'll be sitting there with a confused look on your face looking for the holes that line up and then you'll see just out of shot by my left hand is the bit that I've forgotten to put in <laughs> yeah don't be like Fester yeah look, look, look he's confused yeah look oh there should be two pins there and they're not mm. yeah go on you can do it yeah the realization will dawn upon me imminently that i've not put the other part on see and this is the examination stage the oh dear what's this bit for and then sneakily trying to pull it together so that I look like I know what I'm doing <laughs> yeah see and it's like yeah see I knew all along honest I did it just to try and throw you all off the scent so yeah just press that in place like so and by me right thumb and me left thumb you'll see the two little holes that then go in the pins on the side of that see we got there in the end yeah see a two part section fester what possibly could you have done wrong yeah <laughs> so that should be that stage completed just make sure it's all in place like so and then we'll put that to one side so that we know it's all safe and secure because the last thing we want to do is put it down somewhere and forget where we put it so that's that stage complete so we'll move on to stage 41 now which is the left frame and we've got some frame supports some tubes some connectors some type V and some type I screws so we'll just pop these bits out the bags for the connectors and the tubes and then the screws I shall just leave in the bags for now so that I don't uh, lose them and then we can uh, get round to putting some of these little frame mounts and bits and bobs on the frame ready for ancillary parts to be attached at a later stage so yeah we'll just put them in shot but just out the way and then we'll grab whatever we need out of them when we get to the relevant parts so we've got an upper frame support to go in which goes round just roughly where the headstock is and there's a little notch in the frame that it goes into and it just rests in place and then you put a screw in from the other side so I'll hold that in with my finger and it's a type I screw that we're after so I'll just empty a couple of them out of the bag next to it we'll grab one of them bad boys and we'll drop that in place like that so hold it in place with your finger get the old screwdriver out and give that a good old C in two make sure you're adjusted and in the right spot and then just nip it up nice and tight like so and again we've then got a lower frame support and we'll drop that into the 
hole just by the little line that's painted on the frame there like so steady it with your finger and grab another type eye screw and we'll pop that into place as well just like so just nip that up like that give it a test and yeah Bob's your uncle so I'll just put that screw back in the bag so I don't lose it and uh, we're pretty lucky with these they do give you spares of everything so keep hold of them keep a bag of all your odds like a little greebly's bag because you never know you might need them So I'll just move the tube out of the way, like that, and the little support. And we'll bring in the engine, because we're going to be dropping this half of the frame over the engine, ready to put it in place. So if you orientate your engine so that the shock absorber is on the right-hand side, because obviously I'm right-handed, if you're left-handed, you'll want it on the left-hand side. But, uh, yeah, I'll say the left-hand side, you'll probably do it exactly the same as I'm doing, just use the opposite hand, wouldn't you? Yeah, don't be like Fester. So, we'll just rest that into place. And these are quite a tight fit. So I'm just going to nip these as, as tight as they'll go. Um, and then off camera I shall just go round and really tighten them up because they'll only go down a certain amount before they start to bite but you'll, you'll find they are still a bit loose the frame will rattle so you might want to get yourself a, a bit of a, a stronger grip with your allen key um, obviously I'm trying to do this on camera so the good old sort of tightening stage of this I'll do off camera so I'll just nip these up as far as they'll go like so but uh, yeah you could probably do with a, a slightly meatier allen key than the one that come with it so if you do have them in your toolbox some allen screwdrivers or anything like that you might find that that's a little stronger for you But uh, yeah, I'll just give it a bit of welly and see what happens. But if they're not going to do tight, tight, then I shall uh, get out my ratchet, a screwdriver, and put the Allen bit in and, and do it with that. Could just be my grip, because I, I do suffer a little bit with bad grip now. So we'll just grab the lower frame screw and put that in place and there's four of these bad boys going in on the frame two at the front and two at the rear by the uh, shock absorber so we'll just nip them It's actually surprised me how, how chunky this old bike's turning out to be. It is really, really well made. I suppose should be for the price, but uh, yeah, it's it's certainly certainly worth doing. Just give that a bit of a a tweak. Let's just make sure that that's going in as intended. I'm happy with that. Thumbs up. So, yeah. You might need a stronger Allen key. So, we'll move on now. To the next stage. Which is going to be the frame cross members. Ready for putting on the other side of the frame. So, you're... You're going to have the upper cross member in two parts and then you'll have a lower 
cross member and a couple of tight B screws and some tubing so we'll just get this out the bags like so move them off the camera and same with the tube and I'll put that over to one side out the, out the way and then we'll see what we got like that so first things first let's drop the lower cross member in with a a screw so we'll grab one of them and a screwdriver and there's a little cut out so we'll just move the shock absorber out of the way and this just drops into the, the cut out in the frame there and you've got a couple of lugs on there that you'll just need to keep an eye on to make sure it's orientated the right way but it'll only go in the frame one way round anyway and again these screws are a really really tight fit so you might want to run a tap through them or get yourself a, a slightly chunkier screwdriver to give them a bit of a, a welly so again I shall do them up so that they nip but they might not be fully homed so off camera I shall go back at them with a, a meatier screwdriver just to get them fully home but for the moment at least they're reasonably held in place so that I can get the other half of the frame in and uh, sort it out so we can uh, get the other cross member ready in a moment just see whether I can get the other attachment on my screwdriver on there just to home it as near as damn it so I did that that's now fully homed so we'll grab another type B screw and uh, have that ready for when we put the two halves together I'll grab this and press this home like so and give it a good old squeeze with your thumbs there and it'll just click as it goes in place like that okay and again that just drops in to a, a, a hole in the frame when we go to join the two halves together but we'll put the connector in the tube and get that on the top of the cylinder out of the engine and get that in place and that just presses onto a nub on the top of the uh, engine cylinder head just by where the gold panel goes in place you'll see a little raised nub at the top there and uh, yeah that's where that lives yeah go on faster you can do it yeah just like that pink like that there you go just make sure that that's not going to ping back off and that basically goes into the reservoir assembly that we'll be attaching to the frame in a minute there you go I'm happy so I'll just move that out of the way put this other tube in place if I remember rightly it's to replace one of the ones from an earlier stage because you swap them around for some reason 
I had a quick perusal through the uh, PDFs that you can download for this build and for some reason they send you this tube and ask you to put it in place of one that's already there but I have found that the tubing isn't particularly great so I plan on getting some uh, aftermarket tubing on a reel and I shall be going around and replacing a lot of the tubing that's currently on there just to jazz it up a little bit that's just my personal choice so it's just my way that uh, I plan on finishing the, the bike so I'm gonna splurge out a little bit on some upgraded braided tubes and, and stronger or looking tubings just so that it looks a bit more authentic so we'll just put this all in place the valve assembly because on the end of there are a couple of the lugs that the ends of these tubes attach to so yeah surprising the technology that goes into these prototype Moto GP bikes you know you certainly develop an appreciation of the technology that's involved there is a book that um, is available for the Moto GP enthusiasts and it's like a technology book of the Moto GP bikes and uh, yeah it's a really really good read if you get the opportunity to grab it please do so because it, it really is very informative if bike racing is your thing and uh, yeah so you see you'll notice that this tube is way too short so I'm gonna for the moment swap it out with one of the other ones that's on the engine for now just so that we can get this stage buttoned up but I'm gonna like I said before I'm going back at this once I've built it to replace probably most of the tubing that's on there with upgraded stuff so but for the sake of the build I will uh, just swap it round for a minute just so that you get to see what what's going to go on with your builds you might be lucky you might find your tubes fit really well but some of mine I found are a little bit out so bear that in mind but for the sake of the uh, fact that we're filming we'll uh, go with what we've got I might be lucky I might be able to get the aftermarket stuff here pre uh, episode 7 so if, if that's the case I'll do a little uh, additional episode of just swapping out the tubing so you get to see why I'm doing it so I'll just make sure that I'm putting it on the right way round it's a little tighter than I would like but for the moment it's it's in place but yeah at least I'll be able to put the right side of the frame on and see what the uh, bike actually starts to look like so we'll grab this cross member and drop that in and this is just a, 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 a fit in place it's just a little press fit on there and then when the other half of the frame goes over the engine it'll retain that in place as you do the screws down so I think we're at that stage now where we can bring in the other half of the frame and there's uh, a wee nut that we need to put in the headstock before we join the frame up now there's a little rectangular notch or hole that, that this goes into and it just rests in there with the flats of the nut held in place so that when you drop this over the nut is retained in the cutout of the frame 
so try not to move it around too much until you've got the four screws around the engine in or better still put one in each corner and one in the headstock and then you can go around and add the other screws in as you go around but bear in mind you want to make sure that that nut doesn't pop out the frame because when the uh, stem goes in for the triple trees that nut needs to be there to, to retain that so we'll just grab the screws and drop random screw in and just do it up a, a turn or so. You can always come back and uh, move them about and, and put the other screws in later. But for the moment I want to try and get one in the, the, the rear mount, one in the front mount and one in the headstock. Just to hold that nut in. So we'll do them up with the Allen key. Grab another one. Try and get that to stay on the end of the Allen key there. And we'll quickly flip one in just over here. Try and get that to stay in place. Like so. That's it. And then have a little looky loo at getting that one in. Been the other one went in really easily there. I can get this front mount pretty much nailed so that it pinches against the engine. Pop that out. Like so, and put the bigger screw in for that. Drop that in there on that cross member just to home that in the bottom part of the frame. And again, this will be fully homed off camera. I want to try and keep the frame under tension and be mindful that that nut there doesn't ping out well, I am keeping my eye on it because the frame will try and pop open so I'm just going to quickly come at that and just put that one nut or screw sorry where the nut is so that I know it stays where I want it to and then I'll go back and have a look at the cross member in a second so we'll get that in like so there you go and it is a little bit fiddly at this stage um, but yeah, I mean, it probably looks worse than it is, because obviously, bear in mind, I'm filming it, whereas you guys will be able to have it quite close to you when you're doing it. Obviously, I'm trying to film and keep this at a distance from me, so I'm quite a distance from what I'm seeing, and I'm actually watching it through the viewfinder, so I'm having to move it just out of camera every now and then, just to have a quick close-up look at where the screws are going because I'm obviously looking at this through a viewfinder quite a distance from me so yeah so I'll just check around to quickly make sure that all the screws are in place nothing has fallen out and that me nut is still in place and I think we can be reasonably happy with these couple of stages I'll probably go back at the uh, valve assembly and I'll probably put some glue on the lugs if I'm honest just to make sure that that doesn't fall out at all um, but for the moment I can now 
go back at everything and tighten up all the nuts with the allen key uh, yeah I, the allen keys that come with it they do the job but they're not the greatest so if you've got a set of allen keys then by all means you know use your own set because these ones will round off quite easily so same with a screwdriver it does what it says on the tin but I tend to find that I have had, on a couple of these I've had to actually drill the holes a little bit better because they've been off kilter so I have had to run the drill through a couple of them just to clean them up a little bit and then uh, reseat the screws so we got some spares for this episode so they're going to go back in the Greebley's bag that is ever increasing. But I think for now we can safely wrap up this episode, which is pack 11 of the Rossi bike done. Um, yeah, obviously at time of filming this, the, the season's been a little bit uh, haphazard, but hopefully things can uh, return to normal as soon as possible but for the meantime I think we'll call this episode done and uh, I would like to take this opportunity of thanking all my patrons for supporting me and uh, we'll leave it there so thanks for watching bye bye for now